In. Music therapy is a very interesting form of therapy, and one which most people have no idea even exists. With new scientific research coming out every day, it has become more and more clear why music therapy is going to be huge in the future. And just before we jump to any conclusions, let us make it clear, no, music therapy is not where you listen to Drake to get your heart rate pumping. In fact, the art of music therapy is one which is very delicate. This is why it can only be done by a professional and licensed music therapist to help the patient reach their healthcare goals successfully. Music therapy is not only about listening to music, but for different patients, clients, and their healthcare goals, it could mean a range of different things. These include listening to music, composing your own music, or even recomposing music that was created by other artists. According to research, music therapy has a very high success rate when it comes to treating patients with dementia or Parkinson's in particular. Music therapy when done on dementia patients helps to not only get rid of their agitations, but can also help to restore distant parts of their memory. In order to do this, the patient is taken into a relaxed environment. Then, a song which holds great meaning to the patient is chosen. This song could be anything the patient connects with, for example, his family, childhood, or life events, meaning that the song holds nostalgic meaning for the patient. You will agree with this strategy as well. For example, when you listen to a song that perhaps was your go-to song as a child, it instantly floods your mind with nostalgic thoughts and takes you back into your childhood. Right? So, the same principle is also used when choosing a song for the patient. Because remember, the main goal here is to get the patient to reconnect with their life memories, whether they be of school, friends, family, childhood, or any life event for that matter. Well, here's a fun fact for you. Specific memories can be evoked in your mind by having you listen to particular music that was connected to you at specific parts of your life. This is because music essentially follows us throughout our life and evolves as we age. This is why a song that will take you back to your childhood, for example, will be different to a song that can be used to get you thinking about your high school friends. So, once a song is chosen, which is usually done by family members or those closely related to the patient and who are aware of the patient's music choices and its connection to their life. Then, under the guidance of music therapist, that pre-composed song is sung or played. You must remember that a key part of this therapy is getting the patient to engage and participate. This is also why the patient may be asked to sing along. In order to make this easier, Usually the whole family will be asked to participate and sing along with the patient. After several therapy sessions and use of certain strategies, the dementia patient may begin to recover certain parts of their memory, as evoked by the song relating to a particular time in their life. It's worth noting that even though the song or music being played may be an important part of music therapy process, but the presence of an experienced and a sharp music therapist is equally as important this is because a music therapist not only designs the music session for individuals or groups, but is also very much involved in always checking on the well-being of the patient and how they are responding to their music therapy. Then, based on the assessment a music therapist makes, it will all play a big role in whether or not the patient is able to recover and how fast they recover. So, in simple terms, what is a music therapist? Well. A music therapist is a special type of doctor who must guide individuals with certain illnesses through a number of activities, such as listening to melodies, playing an instrument, drumming, writing songs, and guided imagery. If you are a music therapist listening to this video, we would love to know your experience with music therapy and any secrets we ought to know in the comments below. Well, we know what you may be thinking. I don't see what other illnesses can be treated with music therapy besides revoking and bringing back memories. But the truth is that music therapy is versatile, and it can be used to treat many different illnesses. So here's a big list of things music therapy can treat. These include communication, social skills, depression, anxiety, developmental delay, cerebral palsy, self-expression, building up your self-esteem, evoking memories, and just increasing the general quality of your life. 
Yes, that is quite a lot. And with new scientific research coming out each new day, we are just beginning to scratch the surface as to what music therapy can bring to the healthcare table. As promised, here are quick top three misconceptions about music therapy debunked. Starting of at number one, music therapy is only done in hospitals. As a matter of fact, music therapy can be found anywhere, like private homes, care centers, and even schools. Misconception number two, it's easy to become a music therapist. As we mentioned, music therapist is kind of a doctor and just like a doctor, they need to pass hard exams, internships, and get special degrees before they can be licensed as a music therapist. And finally, misconception number three. Music therapy is all about listening to music. Even though listening to music is part of music therapy, but as we mentioned, it's just one of many strategies used. Because there are also many other strategies used as part of music therapy, such as playing instruments, recording music, dancing and even composing your own music. So, in summary, music therapy can only be done under strict guidance of a music therapist to achieve the healthcare goals of different patients. Through this special music intervention, patients suffering from any self-disorder or memory loss can happily regain control back over their life. Also, the success of music therapy is very much based on the music therapist itself and how they deal with the patient even more importantly, research like the 2000 Parkinson study have proved time and time again that music therapy can significantly improve patients with long-term disabilities, both mentally and physically. And there you have it. What is music therapy? How does it work? And why in the world didn't I know about it earlier? Make sure to check out the first link in description below, where we give you a complete free course on how to naturally boost your immune system and detox correctly. For more videos on naturally improving your health, subscribe and hit the bell icon and leave any comments below, we will get back to you personally. On that note, we will see you in our next video.